Good afternoon, it's Jilly Q from Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I was just going to merrily go along on my own little way and um, I wasn't going to film this, but I've decided to. I'm going over a, um, it's a 35 centimeter MDF round and I'm using up some paints as you do. That one was particularly, that was the Studio Acrylics with Floetrol. So I'm just putting it on the base of my, um, base of my MDF round. Now these MDF rounds, you can get them from the online store, Capriol Shabby Chic, and you can, well, I did get this particular one from a Kmart as a placemat. But I think they're, you know, they're both about the same price if you get them online now obviously if you're in the US or Europe or anywhere you just can go to a hardware store that sells MDF and get some rounds cut out for you I suppose so without further ado do do I'm so I've put that on I don't know this was um Montmartre studio acrylics mixed with my pouring normal pouring medium so i'm putting it all on here because i actually fancy doing a flip and drag so it's doing a little flip cut and dragging it through your paint but uh, if you all know uh, me and follow my journey you know that it's subject to change so i should have that disclaimer on all the time shouldn't i subject to change because that should be my that should be in there on my, um, I shouldn't give it a title, I should just, yeah, subject to change. So this is some of the metallics, I made up these gorgeous metallic paints out of my Monk Mart in the week. And I've been doing several different pours with them and so I'm going to be using some of these colours. If you go to my Acrylic Art by Julie Cube Facebook page, I've got the chart up there. Or if you want to join our Australian acrylic pouring group, please, uh, the link is down below and you can head there. Just answer a few questions and you will be in like Flynn and then you can post your work for me to see. So, um, shut in the win uh, window because it's a bit windy. Um, yeah, so please do that if you want to post your work for everyone else to see and and get help or, or advise, you know, it's a, a site that everybody's welcome and it's to help one another. So no drama, otherwise it's, uh, you, it's, you know, you're out. Okay, so I might move that one second over while I just do this little flip cut with some of the lovely colors, the, oh, the colours that I mixed in the week and I'll just explain them. They are with my uh, Montmartre glue and water mix which I've got the pouring medium recipes in the drop down box and I also have a link there to beginners videos. So this is just these plain old silver. So I'll put the silver and then I mixed some gorgeous gold with um, I put gold in and then phthalo blue. So that would be a nice one, nice one. Then I'll go back to the just the Montmartre gold. Now these particular ones I have added two drops of Helmar silicone. This one was the gold with a blob of burnt umber in it. Oh no, I don't want to put that over the top of that. That's, oh no, here we go. Here's the blob of burnt umber picking the same one back up but probably should have put a lighter colour in between that okie dokie I'm um yeah let's go some white in there to and then I might just finish it off there's not much paint in this cup with that that is so, you have to see this, you have to mix it and see it is stunning colour. That was the gold with a blob of phalo blue. Phalo, 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 phalo. 
So I think that is probably even plenty of paint for a flip, flip and drag. So let's see how we do with this one. I will finish off around the edges of my you can finish it off when you're at the end it's very easy to do but I will flip it <sighs> exciting and then I'll put a bit more paint so it kind of floats under that the color floats hopefully see how we go see how we go so I want to just let a little bit of this paint out as we drag it around oh yo wowzers and I'll lip the cup back through to add some other elements wowzers trousers those colours are beautiful. Just using the lip of your cup and any of the paint that's coming out. That is, oh, it's a stunner. I'm going to just add some heat to get rid of my air bubbles. I really don't want to move it but I think it's a bit too thick to oh, I don't know I don't really want to lose that actually I'll sh turn it around in a minute and show you it looks like a seahorse or a dragon so I yeah it could be one of those weird and mystical um, creatures that see oh I can't think of the name I've got Alzheimer's I reckon oh no I should never say that oh look at that just trying to tip it over the edges but I just don't want to lose my dragoon my dragoon look at my dragoon my dragoon as my son used to call them when he was little, the dragoon. Show me the dragoon, mommy. And a penlican was a pelican. A penlican. Oh, wow. That is kind of cute. I don't want to. Let's move it around just lightly. Oh, those colours. I don't know if you've seen the colours. are just that gold with the phalo blue please try it people it is the bomb i mix loads of colors with gold um, metallics and metallics and silver metallics to make other awesome awesome colors so give it a try it's so much fun when you're mixing your own too as well wow i love it i just like it like it is i don't i don't really want to tilt it or do anything to oh, or should I no let's give, give it a bit more I quite like it like that shall I make an eye in there Will it look like something if I put an eye in? No, I don't want to do that. Let me dip it in some darker colour and see if I can get an eye. But it's easier to do when it's dry, obviously. That's been my mystical, mis mystical creature. And there's its nostril, which... Wow. The colours are just glimmering and shimmering. I really like that. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave you with it. Let me know what you think of my mystical dragon. Dragoon, as Joel used to say. 
Um, <laughs> I'll give you some close-ups because that metallic, those custom metallics are really, really gorgeous. And I'm sure if this, um, I do decide to resin on this, those colours will absolutely pop. And so will the gold and the um, gold and the burnt umber. I'll just put this card in front of you for a second. So if you want to take a screenshot of those colours, you can take a screenshot and there is the silver, add phalo, blue, blah, blah, black and some dark green kind of makes a metallic, uh, metallic navy. And there's the silver, add a blob of phalo blue. So yeah, take a screenshot if you want to have a little play with doing these colours because uh, there's so many more combinations I've done in the past but these were just ones that I'd mixed last week. So thank you guys for joining me again. Thank you for coming on my crazy journey with me. I do hope you're all safe and well. Please do something that gives you joy or phone a friend. That's what I say, phone a friend. So wishing you all well and bye for now.